To me, it seems that like if you're sober and you're in the room with somebody on DMT who's seeing spirits, there should be some way for the sober pe person to sense the presence of those spirits, whether it's by some sort of mechanical means, a spectral analysis detector, something. There must be some sort of physical fingerprint other than the firing of neurons on the brain to prove that these people are there. Because if the only physical fingerprint you have is the firing of neurons in the brain, that's the imagination. That's nothing non-corporal or external. That's just inside the brain. The, uh, the only other option I can think of is that if neural firing in the brain becomes so intense that it creates some sort of wormhole to an imaginal space that exists outside of us, that's not external reality, though. That's, that's some other dimension. That's dark matter and beyond high-energy physics. And there will, there's no way to prove that. You can't cut open a person's brain and find a wormhole to an alternate dimension in there. And you can't see a wormhole to an alternate dimension on a PET or an MRI scan. So invoking that sort of wormhole to another spirit world seems specious to me, because it seems like if there's a gateway and information from another realm flowing through that gateway, then the gateway, the information, and the realm should all have a fingerprint in reality other than just something that we see. There should be, you know, some sort of means for detecting that other than just, you know, neurons in the visual cortex firing.